What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. What's going on guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, it's actually gonna be really different because my last vid or my last most of my entire channel has been based on me and that, but it is time for the off season. So I'm kind of running ideas for what I should do because I don't have any filming stuff for being on the ice, plus it's really hard for a goalie to be filming on the ice. So instead, I decided we'll do a review on my new chest protector I got the other day. Actually, it was like more like a month ago, but still. Um, this is the Warrior RG5, Retro G5, for people don't know what they are stand for. Um, it is a senior, and it's probably one of my favorite chest, prote chest protector I've ever used in my life. For many reasons... I'm just gonna fix this. That's not good. Anyway, there are many reasons why I like this and why I don't like this chest protector. I was not thinking on getting a warrior. I was trying to stay away with warrior chest protectors. Because I kind of wanted... I was looking at a Bauer one, but... At the end, warrior came along and... I guess I got stuck with this. By choice. I really like it. And it's super lightweight compared to my other one. Well, I mean... Not really. My other one's really lightweight too. That's because it's no padding. This is my old one. With heat in. Look at this. This is what I was wearing in the last. The last how many videos I did? I don't know. But anyway, this is the warrior. It's crappy, and humongous, but it's awesome. So if you guys are looking to get a warrior chesty, I would for. I would say, maybe even midgets, but mo most bantams and below. Stay away from the pro because the arms are messed up. And for me, I'm five foot six, almost getting to five foot seven, and my arms were way too short on the pro because it had this like weird. I don't know, I'll post a picture of the pro right here, but it had this weird like arm thing, and I did not like it at all. So I decided to stick with the just. The regular one and not the pro. Okay, so let's go over some of the things that I actually absolute, actually love, absolutely love about this is how much more adjustments there are. If we turn around the back, which also another thing I love is their back plate. Look at this. So on, th on this one, okay, on this one, look at this, look at this, ready? I can bend my back plate like, like that. Don't think that was the safest thing for me to wear. But back was a lot better. But look at all these straps. There's so many. I went to stick and buck today, so this is all really gross. Not really gross, but it's wet. I went to stick and buck with a couple people. Actually, one of those people is everything in hockey, which I'll leave a link in the description. So oops. I don't think that was a good noise. Anyway. So it's super lightweight. I mean, it's Kind of rough off the box. This is the only. This is the only uh, chest protector that's actually, they claim is, the best out of the box, like fully ready. It took me two to three practices for it to actually feel like my old one. Not like bad, like it's not. Like it's not protective, but it feels much better than it used to. So, the other one, or I think it was my first ever time using this. I told myself I'm never using this until I'm like 14, 15. Because that's how big it was. That's what my thought was. But now that I've used it like four or five times, it's, it feels amazing. So that is kind of a disappointment off the bat. But that's how every that's how every chesty is. So and we have better elbow protectors. I'm wanting those for a while. So pretty much this is basically everything you need as a on ice school tender. Right here, I suggest getting Warrior, but it's all up to you guys. It's all superstition. I say go with Warrior, though, if you guys are looking for one. It's great for, like, younger hockey players. But it's all up to you. So, I was looking at getting the G4, because I really wanted to stay away from the G5. But they didn't have any G4 at the Goalie Monkey, so I decided just... I was looking for the GT. They didn't have the GT either, so we had to get the G5. Which is fine, but I don't know. I was wanting to get the GT really bad because it was so much comfortable. 
I talked to a lot of other goalies, and they have GTs. I'll post a picture right here of a GT, and I don't know, it looks like it's, it, it's more like this, which I kind of, you guys can't see that. It's more like this, when it heat and warm, which is kind of wanting, because I've had heat and burn for five years straight. I've had it, so first two I had heat in and I upgraded to a different heat and those are both used. So this is my first ever like brand sneaky new one. And it's kind of nice. So if you guys are looking to get a new chest protector, I suggest getting Warrior. This is the only I would say I would say this is the only chesty is the regular RG5 that is so low because that was my biggest problem. I wanted to get one like this one because of how low it sat on my neck. See this? It sat so low. So I was looking to get one just like this. Or just like that one. So it could sit so low. And then when we got it, it was raised a little bit more, but you can adjust that in the back. So you can like adjust it way down here. But I gotta fix this, so we're gonna do that while we talk. Anyway, what other content do you guys want to see? Because I'm running out of ideas because it's the off season and I don't know what else I should film. So if you guys have any ideas of what you guys want to see, then comment down below. Might do some roller hockey videos here soon. I think that'd be fun. Anyway, that is basically the difference, or my new chest protector and the differences I like about this one and my older one. So if you guys are looking to get this one, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy yourself one of this. A warrior did not sponsor me in this video. Maybe one day. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, click that video because that's the video of my last video. Click right here because this is my other tournament vlog that we... Okay, here's this video, or this little circle. That's my subscribe button. Alright, thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.